So here's a question for you. Do you know what emotional intelligence is? In this segment, our Bill Bevins finds out. Take a look. Our next guest is a former United States Marine motivational speaker and author. As we emerge from the stay at home orders around the country, you may find yourself reintroducing yourself to many things you haven't experienced in a while. Today, we're going to talk about emotional intelligence and how you can apply it to your interpersonal skills. We welcome Eric Whitmar back to Virginia this morning. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Welcome back. Bill, it's awesome to be here. Thank you so much. I can't wait till I'm in studio with you guys. Come yeah, on. Yeah, that's going to be great. We look forward to it. You're just up the road in Baltimore, so a quick trip down 90. Well, there's no quick trip down 95, but <laughs> <laughs> eventually you'll get here. Uh, let's yeah. talk a little bit about this. Uh, we talked the last time you were here about uh, being in touch with your emotions and everything coming from a Marine, which is a little shocking, but uh, it, it all made sense by the time we were done. It sure did, Bill. And there, there's so many misconceptions Conceptions about emotions. And what we have to remember is we're hardwired to feel first and think later. As humans, we can't stop the emotions that follow every single, in, in, every single interaction we have. If we can acknowledge that we're emotional, we're able to control it. We can't turn it off. We can't suppress it. It's just being in control of it. That's what mental toughness and emotional intelligence is all about. Yeah, it's there all the time. It's just what do you do with it? I remember very early on watching boxing with my grandfather and I'd say, how do those guys keep from getting mad and losing it, you know, not being in control? He said, that's what they train for. That's the whole idea is, you, you, you know, if you, if you get emotional, then you're not focused on what you're supposed to be doing. And logic and emotion are inversely related, Bill. So as we become more emotional, we become less logical and vice versa. There's a time for each one. There's a time we should be emotional. There's a time we should be logical. The issue is with 99% of us is we don't know when we're in an emotional state of mind. We're going to react differently if we're emotional as opposed to being logical. Our nation right now is what I refer to as being drunk in emotion. We're incapable of logical thought right now. Yeah. So as we all start to get back out and start interacting with people other than the people that have been locked up with, uh, how is this going to serve us and what do we need to do? We have to get back to the core, you know, and that's the thing. When I wrote my book last year, published in September, it's funny because when I wrote it, I had no idea what was ahead of us. But um, we have to get back to the basics. One of the main things we have to do is we have to become better listeners. As a society, we're horrible at listening. We only listen with the intent to reply, not with the intent to understand. We start formulating our replies before the other person even finishes speaking. We have to get much, much better at listening. That's the number one thing we have to do. Well, what you just described is my job. So <laughs> I'm always it formulating is. the next question because you got to think about that. But if you don't sit and listen and have that, that pause at the end, sometimes, you know, you're going to A, cut somebody off or they're, they're not getting through to you the point they're trying to make. And that's the second part, Bill. And it, it's the manners piece of it. We have to get better at our manners. And I'm not referring to yes sir no ma'am i'm referring to simple basic stuff like give somebody the ability to finish their statement look them in the eye when they're talking don't look at your cell phone don't look at your watch it's very, very important we get back to just very core stuff that we've lost the ability, mainly because of social media. We're more about social media than social interaction these days. We have to get back to communicating with people, understanding people, and knowing that our words have impacts on everybody we talk with. My best friend always has this thing he threw, because I do talk a little bit, Eric, just a little <laughs> bit. And he'll, I'll, be, I'll be going along and he'll go, is this gonna be a much longer story? <laughs> like, let me finish. So that's exactly what you're saying. Right? We're talkers, exactly right, we're talkers. And we have to make other people feel important. That's what it's all about. I think I'm important, you think you're important. When you're communicating with somebody, just make it all about them. Be interested in what they're saying. You have to be authentic, you have to be sincere, but just give them undivided attention and know that what's important to them is important to us as well. And it's amazing, you can see the difference in people when you're actually listening. And you may not agree with them, but you can at least listen. It's not about agreeing. That's the, the other big issue right now, Bill. It's not about agreeing. It's just listening and understanding a point of view. We don't have to agree with what you're saying. I just need to be, I just need to feel like you're listening and hearing me. At the end of the day, we can disagree on things and still like each other. Believe it or not, that's possible, but it's all about making the person feel like, I hear you, I get what you're saying. I don't agree with you, but I hear what you're saying. That's all, that's all we need to do. What you just said 
is amazing how little we do that nowadays and how we've kind of changed from just it seems like a short time ago when we were able to do that and um, you know be uh, disagree without being disagreeable we're incapable of opposing points of view, and that is something that our nation really needs to work on. We have to accept that we have to accept the fact that we can disagree with someone and still like them. We really, really need to work on that. Well, I think uh, everybody here agrees that uh, you're a great guest, and we always enjoy having you. We always learn something. Thank you so much, the emotional marine, Eric. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words, Bill. I appreciate uh, it, sir. Thank you, folks. Eric does such a great job. Eric Rittmeyer's new book, The Emotional Marine, 68 Mental Toughness and Emotional Intelligence Secrets to Make Anyone Instantly Like You. It's now available. For more information, we'll post a link on our show website by later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. Stay tuned. We agree that we want you to come back right after a quick break.